Hey, what's going on, everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and let's talk about GPU and GPU pricing. Should you wait? Or should you go ahead and pull the trigger to go ahead and grab some GPUs at a discount? Because we know that the crypto market is down quite significantly, allowing users to be able to get their GPUs and actually complete their computer builds, their gaming builds, whatever it may be. Well, a number of our favorite resources or crypto YouTubers or tech tubers like Hardware Unbox have provided insight on that, right? So they, they release videos on a regular basis. They also provide articles. We had a number of other individuals in the scene uh go ahead and provide their opinion on it and focusing on the crypto side just like my brother uh dj mimes uh i want to let you know on a couple things what i would recommend doing first off make sure you check out our fellow content creators that are out there whether they're crypto related or not uh and my brother dj mines you know evj is no longer doing the q right so if you signed up uh, you should be able to easily go to evj.com and get some GPUs. Uh, we got a pricing chart here from TechSpot, the same uh, users for Hardware Unbox. And we can see between May and June, the 3090 Ti has dropped 18%. So that's a that's a positive. Uh, the 3090 non-Ti, 6%. 3080 Ti, 17%. And this is all negative except for the 3050, which stayed at the same price range. Everything else is dropping dramatically. For example, if we look at the 3060 Ti, you know, those prices of those GPUs were $1,000, $1,200 at around the peak, maybe a little bit after the peak of the cryptocurrency, like, you know, Bitcoin hitting 69K, Ethereum being around $4,000. We saw the 3060 Ti and the 3070s be very sought after, and they were around $1,000, $1,200. So the pricing has dropped quite significantly. And you're wondering to yourself, should you go ahead and pull the trigger? Well, me personally, I would wait. I would wait for the NVIDIA 4000 series to drop and the AMD 7000 series to drop. Because as that additional supply and those newer GPUs come into effect, not only would you have all this surplus that is currently on the market now in the second hand, whether it's through Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, whatever your favorite uh, secondary marketplace is, not only will we have that surplus on there, but we would have these new GPUs that's going to have users wanting to upgrade, right? They're going to upgrade from the 3070 to their 4070. They're going to upgrade from their uh, 6700 XT to the 7700 XT, whatever it may be, allowing more GPUs to come into the market and for users to buy it. Now, of course, uh, you may want to grab some more GPUs before the next crypto boom, which will eventually happen. It may not be as, as, as impactful, right? Because Ethereum will no longer be mineable around that time is my prediction, right? Because we're going to have... By the time the crypto boom picks back up, the merge should have already taken place. I know they've been delaying it for years now, uh, but from what I'm looking at, uh, I don't expect crypto to get to the levels it has been or make a new all-time high just quite yet. Whether it's the end of this year or 2024, we may be looking at end of 2024, 2025, and that's very heavy speculation. I think there's a lot of things that need to go in place. So should you get a GPU right now? The answer is if you have a build, right, and you've been running off of your APU on your system and you've just been waiting for a GPU for the longest, then yes, most definitely. More than likely, if you are one of those individuals, you probably already have a GPU on its way to install into your system. But if you wait a little bit longer, we should see prices get down even lower because right now the 3060 Ti is still above its launch price or MSRP, and we, we're, we're going to probably see these GPUs actually go down below their msrp here shortly as time continues to go on as people become less and less interested in mining cryptocurrency and we have a flood of secondhand or a surplus of secondhand gpus available to us on the secondary market so for example let's look at a 3070 uh, always sort by buy it now uh, by the lowest and you can see here obviously it depends on their location but $309, you might want to double check that. Verify because it's parts only. Don't go and buy something, you know, because you see a good price on it and then not pay attention to the fact that it's broken or fans broken or won't boot or no display. Pay attention. But basically around $400 for, uh, well, these are 3060s. Those were 3070s. So obviously double check your listing before you go buying things. So 3070 right here, 429. So about 430, uh, 450 for a 3060 Ti or 3070 well down from 1000 to $1,200. So it's definitely getting a lot better. I would just 
be a little bit more patient, give a little bit more time, get that extra discount on those GPUs and go from there. Now, when the crypto boom happens again in the future, will we bump into the same issues that we did with this previous one? Yes, right? Where they're going to have opportunists that want to take advantage of a uh, high demand, low supply situation, raising the prices up and causing you just to be upset with one another. So just be patient, hang in there, wait for the 4,000 series from NVIDIA, wait for the 6,000 or 7,000 series from AMD, and things will get better over time. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. Besides that, you have a wonderful day. Take care, I'll catch you in the next one.